Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban is the third film in the Harry Potter series, released in 2004. It's based on the third book of the same name by J.K. Rowling. Here's a detailed explanation of the film's story. The film opens with Harry Potter, played by Daniel Radcliffe, using magic outside of school during the summer break. He unintentionally inflates his Aunt Marge, which leads to him running away from home. As he awaits punishment, he's picked up by the night bus, a magical form of transportation. Harry learns that Sirius Black, a dangerous criminal and Voldemort's supporter, has escaped from Azkaban, the high-security wizarding prison. Back at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, Harry reunites with his friends Ron Weasley and Hermione Granger. He receives the Marauder's Map, a magical map that shows the entire layout of Hogwarts, including secret passages. The map reveals a secret passage leading to the nearby village of Hogsmeade, but Harry is unable to go due to not having a signed permission slip from his guardians. The new defense against the dark arts teacher, Professor Lupin, played by David Thewlis, teaches the students to defend themselves against dark creatures, particularly Dementors. Dementors are soul-sucking creatures that guard Azkaban and have a profound negative effect on Harry due to his traumatic past. During their first Care of Magical Creatures class, the students meet hippogriffs, magical creatures with the body of a horse and the head of an eagle. Harry's encounter with a hippogriff named Buckbeak goes well, but Draco Malfoy taunts the creature and gets injured. As a result, Buckbeak is put on trial for its alleged aggression. Hermione reveals that she possesses a time-turner, a magical device that allows her to travel back in time. She and Harry use it to go back a few hours to save Buckbeak from being unjustly sentenced to death. While traveling through time, they witness various events from earlier in the day. Harry overhears a conversation that suggests that Sirius Black is his godfather and was a close friend of his parents. It becomes clear that Sirius may not be the traitor he's been portrayed to be. The trio also discovers that Ron's pet rat, Scabbers, is actually Peter Pettigrew, the true traitor who betrayed Harry's parents to Voldemort. Harry, Hermione, and Ron eventually learn that Sirius is innocent and was trying to protect Harry from an even greater threat, Peter Pettigrew. They confront Pettigrew and Lupin, who is revealed to be a werewolf. They also learn that Lupin was one of the creators of the Marauder's Map, and that Sirius is Harry's godfather. The trio, along with Sirius and Buckbeak, are confronted by the Dementors. Harry and Hermione use the Time-Turner to save themselves and Sirius from the Dementors' kiss, and they fly away on Buckbeak. The film ends with Harry receiving a firebolt, a high-quality broomstick, as a gift from Sirius. The friends bid farewell to another year at Hogwarts, and Harry looks forward to spending the summer with his godfather. The film's closing shot shows Sirius, as well as the moon, signifying the ongoing threat of danger and the looming presence of Voldemort. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban is notable for its introduction of key characters and the expansion of the wizarding world's lore, as well as its exploration of themes such as friendship, betrayal, and the past's impact on the present. Do not forget to click the subscribe button and like to the video. Let me know about what kind of video should I recap in the comments section.